Saturday, the 8th of September, 1888, the second murder victim fell at the hands of the world knows as Jack the Ripper. Her name was Annie Chapman. In the 40s, Annie Chapman um, ended up on the streets in Whitechapel. Now when you think of these women as poor unfortunates, you never really realise that possibly you've given it a second thought of what their life was like before. Well, Annie Chapman selling the body for four pennies like everybody else, when she was alive, this is what she was like. What happened, she suffered a bereavement. She couldn't really deal with that problem and she became an alcoholic. She also became very violent. Her husband couldn't deal with that, so they split up. And Annie Chapman was given like a five shilling a week allowance from her husband. Now her husband became very ill and died. So there was no more five shilling a week allowance for Dark Her name was Dark Annie as well. She was Dark Annie. Uh, five shilling a week allowance for her. So Annie Chapman was left at the mercy of streets in Whitechapel, just as the other, by now, 1199 unfortunates. Where we stand now is the doorway. Hanley Street. Opposite is number 30. You can see the size, the sort of a, with the three windows, this was only two, so this was a smaller building. This doorway here was on the latch, it was never locked. So this is where the unfortunates would bring their customers into the backyard, service them, and off they went. And the number of times I've stood here over the years and wondered, you know, because this was the only one on the latch, whether there were punters, if you like, and unfortunate standing, waiting their turn. There were 17 people living in this house um, on the night of this murder. They said there was a cigar factory on the first floor, they just made cigars. But the woman that lived in this room here, back then it wasn't Henry hairdresser, the room here, she sold rotten horse flesh for cat meat. So this, yeah. Back then, uh, they used to have cat meat shops. Dead brewers, basically. Um, now the thing is, you've got to realise that the Truman Brewery, so you've got the smell of the brewery, you've got the slaughterhouses and the leatherworks, plus these streets where you're inset by the homeless, the downtrodden, the destitute. These are the streets of Whitechapel. A quarter to six on Saturday, the 8th of September. Sorry. One of the residents, that was Anne, a man called John Davis came out the backyard. Now they didn't have in, in, uh, a working inside to him. They had an outside privy and a tap to service all these people. He came out on this back step, about 300 feet from where I stand. He saw the body of a woman lying between the step and the fence. It was Anne. Atrocities to Annie were worse than they were for Polly. He cut her throat, firstly down to the spinal cord. There's reports uh, somewhere saying that he actually tried to cut her head off, but he didn't have the time. He then took his knife and he cut the front flap of skin from a rib cage right down past the pubes and he laid it out at the side of her body. He then cut out Testaments. Place them over his shoulder. He took the uterus, he cut it out and took it with him. And finally, she had some brass rings on her finger and he wrenched them off. Quite literally, as if that wasn't a human being whatsoever. Now, all for the research that I've done over the years, I've stood here. Not every year, but I've stood here to wonder what it would have been like. Would it have been this dark? Would it have been this light? First, you go in daylight. People are walking to work. Spitalfields Market is just here. And yet, this murderer just vanished into thin air. 
There is a report of a woman seeing a man that looked quite dodgy, uh, quite um, suspicious, and he nipped into a pub to avoid, and she didn't see him from there on. It's another one where uh, 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 an innkeeper, if you like, or a, a pub landlord, uh, gave a man covered in blood a half pint of drink. He drunk that down and walked off. But if you just mutilated somebody, would you take that risk? Covered in blood, going into pub to have, oh, I'll just have a soft half pint. The thing is, is Annie became the second murder victim. Now, she had a black eye. And everybody assumed initially that the Ripper had done that to her. And in fact, one of her friends came forward and said, you know what, I gave that to Dark Annie. We got into a fight. Have a guess what they had a fist fight over? The customer. No, worse. A bar of soap. A bar of soap. They fought. Something so small that we would consider.